What's up, guys? My name's Kenny. I hope you're all feeling good today. It is Saturday, March 23rd. We're going to play Wordle Connections, the mini crossword, and strands all back to back in this video. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the word that I'm going to use for Wordle, using a randomizer, it gave me rebar. So let's put in rebar. I just realized there's two R's in this, so that's not great. But it does start with R. Okay, so that's good. It starts with R. There's an E in the word. Okay. Where's the E going to go? Actually, I'm trying to think of words that actually start with R. River? No, because there's no R at the end. Um, something, R, something, something. Hmm. So there's no E second. R rinse. Rinse. Oh, no way. No way. I saw R-I and I'm like, I think I might have got it. I'm like, I think that, like, there's not, there can't be that many words that start with R that have an E in it somewhere. Five letters, though. This, the, you know, I think I said the last time this happened, like, a few weeks ago or a month ago or whatever, I said, I don't remember the last time that this happened. And it, it doesn't happen very often, but um, I guess in this case... Having all five letters that I got to unscramble, I can't, what is this? Uh, risen, risen, okay. Not F, risen. Okay, that was fun. We're off to a good start. Um, actually, Squirtle, I need to check that out today. Because what words start with R? <laughs> And have an E in them, like, with the letters that I have eliminated. No R, I eliminated a second R, so that's kind of important. Um, so rebar, rinse, and risen. Um, rodeo. Risen, obviously, roans. Okay, a lot of things that have an S at the end. Roses, ripen, okay. Ripen, rouse, rivet. Yeah, okay, I didn't think, route. Okay, we just had that clue in the mini crossword um, recently. Yeah, there's some good words here. Rinse uh, is the one that I found, though. Um, rogue. Okay, didn't think about that. Yeah, there, there's some good words here that I overlooked. I shouldn't say I overlooked them. I just went with my first guess. Rhyme. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, I just wanted to check it out just to see what possibilities there were. So we can move on now. All right. It is time for connections. Let me go ahead and open that up. Okay. All right. Here we go. Connections, March 23rd. Let's see what we have today. Okay, we have Shadow Name, Visa Track, Discover, well, Discover and Visa, credit card companies, Chase, uh, credit is on here. Is Chase a credit card company or just a bank? It might be a credit card company. I don't know. I don't know if there's another one. Could just be credit. Is there a credit card company just called credit? Oh, like to give somebody credit... Give them props, maybe. Praise. Um, props, credit, praise. A stamp of approval? That seems like a stretch, but that could be the answer. Glory, there we go. It's not stamp of approval. <laughs> Kudos, okay. Learn. Is there something with learn? Learn, realize, maybe? Discover and find. That seems like a pretty solid category. Become aware of. Okay. Shadow and chase to follow, to track, and to tail. Okay, that's a really easy category. Pursue. So that's three categories there that were... Honestly, all of those could have easily been the yellow category. I think that they were pretty easy. I don't know. Let me know what you think about that. Um... Name, stamp, visa, and photo. Okay. Can I think about what this category is? 
name, first name, last name. No. Visa. Visa is very specific. So if I can... If I know any phrases with Visa in it. Hmm. Unless it's not a blank category. Visa, photo, stamp, name. Do these all have something to do with like an identification? Like maybe like a passport thing? I don't know. Um, maybe it's that simple. I don't know. There, there might be a blank, like blank something here. Let's Let's just see. What is it? Just seen in a passport. You know, <laughs> sometimes it's easier than you think it is. Yeah, I feel like all four of these categories could have been the yellow category today. It's not very often in connections that we get one this easy. Um, I don't have a passport. I've never traveled. So, I, I didn't know that there was a stamp associated with it. Um, I say I never traveled, like I never went out of the country. Um, you know, I never, I never have, uh, been on an airplane before. So yeah, I'm not really too familiar with this, but I figured it might be a passport. Okay. Well, there you go. Pretty easy connections today. That's nice. Um, yeah. Let me know how you did though. Uh, I feel like everybody's going to get this one though. Um, I apologize if you didn't, and that sounds rude, but <laughs> I thought it was easy. Just, yeah, let me know if it if it was. Um, so, next, uh, let's go ahead and go to the uh, mini crossword. Let's go ahead and do that now. Oh, it's Saturday. We got the big one. Yeah, I forgot it was uh, going to be a big mini today. So that's cool, though. Let's go ahead and do it, get started. Uh, Saturday, March 23rd. Here we go. Let's see what we got. Battering RAM. Did some computer programming. Coded. Maybe. That might be wrong. Coding on lashes. Coding on lashes. Mascara. Is that how you spell it? Mascara. Major influence on Walt Whitman and Henry David Thoreau. Well, I'm never going to get that because I don't know who those people are. Walt Whitman. Okay, Breaking Bad is making me think, is that is that the, the same person? Is that the writer or poet or whatever? <laughs> I might be wrong. I might be misremembering the first name. I mean, the main character of uh, Breaking Bad was Walter White. But anyway, chocolate hazelnut spread. Chocolate hazelnut spread. Is this Nutella? Is that how you spell that? I think so. Um, stainless steel? HS courses for high school. Uh, courses for college credit. I thought it was just AP classes, but that's, that's only two letters. So I'm a little confused. Um... APs? This seems wrong. Is the is this misspelled? Hold on. What is this word? Red spots, measles. Okay, never mind. Wow, it's n I've never done one like this where like I get like six out of the seven clues for the acrosses. Dudes, man, or men, I guess. Albert Blank, Nobel winning author of The Stranger. No idea. Rosetta, R probably an E here. Well, what's this now? Can I get eight across? No. The insidious proliferation of modern marketing. Add. No idea. Dryly humorous? Oh, what is that? DR something. It's not. Probably not drill. It's got to be droll, even though I don't know what droll means. Can 
California Santa Ana? Well, this is going to be a problem because these are names. Major influence and then... This is probably Ad Creep. And then this is like... Emerson, maybe? Everson? Oh, it's Emerson. Well, that was a complete guess there. Because I don't know what the heck this four down is. Albert Camus. Don't know... Well, I don't know what the stranger is. He's an author. Um, Emerson, I don't know who Emerson is. I'm not going to look it up either. I don't know what ad creep is. I mean, I guess just like the idea that ads just creep into every aspect of media, I guess. Um, no, Ram, Coded, those were easy. Mascara, Nutella, Steel, and APs. I got all of those. That is crazy. If I would have just got eight across. <laughs> uh, droll? Okay. You know what's funny? I actually <laughs> don't think I've heard of this word really ever, but there is... Okay, I'm playing a game right now, a video game. I actually, I played it on my live stream oh, a week ago. Uh, it's a poker roguelike called Balatro. Maybe some of you guys have played it. It's on Steam. And uh, there's a card called the Droll Joker card, right? Because it's like a playing card deck and they got like power-ups and stuff and yeah so because i saw the droll joker i figured that droll had something to do with humor uh and i just basically uh made that connection here and and if it wasn't for that i don't think i would have got this i mean maybe i would have i don't know if i knew about the word droll that is that is a vocabulary word that I'm not, yeah, I don't know if I would have got that. I probably would have, because I would have noticed that, like, it's not going to be drill. And then nothing else would have made sense. So I probably could have come up with drill, but it, not nearly as easy. Um, yeah, so there we go. Just don't know those people. Everything else is pretty good, though. So. All right. Well, there is the mini today. I feel like everything's actually easier than I thought it would be today. Getting very, very fortunate with how easy these puzzles are. So uh, we got one more to go, and that would be uh, strands. So let's go ahead and open that up. And of course, let me know how you did on the mini today. All right, strands. This should be fun. Let's see what we got. Wrong uh, camera placement. Although I guess maybe it doesn't matter now. Hold on a minute. If I put my camera back here, no, that definitely covers it up. Okay. All right, but here we go. Uh, strands, uh, the theme today is Romeo and Juliet, so Shakespeare. Probably not. Romeo and Juliet, uh, like, in love? <laughs> I don't know. Love is here. Loves? This could be the Spangram. Hmm. I'm not sure. Um, let's just try loves. No. Or love. Yeah, just love. Okay. Hmm. Romeo and Juliet. Maybe just... Maybe just... Well, no, because, like, the actual words that are associated with each other connect more closely to the spangram specifically rather than what the theme says because this usually might this 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 theme isn't like a direct you know theme necessarily it, sometimes it's got like some wordplay like what's the issue or whatever it was where it was magazines romeo and juliet hmm love is an aspect of romeo and juliet i don't know is there a person named gary in there Probably not. <laughs> uh, craft? I don't know how that would connect. Okay, that's not a word. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm going to have an issue here, because I don't 
No. What about cross? No. It's been so long since I've read Romeo and Juliet, and I feel like I had a tough time understanding it. But I don't know. We just have love so far. Romance? Romantic? I don't see an M for romantic. Okay. Steady? No. It can't be steady. Yeah, there's no A next to the D's. Okay. I don't know. I thought, like, going steady. <laughs> um, Rose. Roses. No. Oh, wait, no. It could be. No. Yeah, that's uh, associated with love or Valentine's Day. Um, I don't think I can... I don't know if I'm going to be able to find another word here that makes any sense. I guess we have some of these narrowed down, kind of. I'm trying to look like... Star? Starry. Starry stay. Stay. Um. Mm, clip. Kiss. Yes. Wow, how did I not... <laughs> how did I not see that one? That one was so easy. Um. Con. Um, kiss, love. Okay, these are both like associated with romance, kind of. I don't see the word romance on here. Sorry, maybe apologizing? No. You gotta say sorry if you're in a relationship. Maybe just relationship. No. Poison. Okay. That's okay, that's what that one was. Um What is this top one going to be? I I I feel like maybe the, this is the spangram that's going to go from here. Star Cross. Star crossed. I don't know what that means. I'm going to be honest with you. But I've heard it before. Balcony. I was looking at this bottom one. I was trying to figure out what it is. I'm going to have to look up Star Cross. So there's a Y here. There's also a Y here. Feud? Okay, T R A. Tragedy. And then, um, there's no vowel here except for the Y, so, hold on, um,
Uh, wow. Okay. W what is this word? Tr Trist? Wait, what is that word? What is that? What? Okay, what do I look up first? Trist? Or if that's even how you say it. Or star-crossed. Okay, I'm looking up star-crossed. It's first used by Shakespeare in Romeo and Juliet, which makes sense. Uh... Is is it does this just all have to be stuff literally that's associated with Romeo and Juliet? Because I was trying to make the point earlier that usually the the words that are in the theme up here aren't actually like what you should go by. You should go by this bangram, but I don't know. Like the, it's just a hint. I always assume this is just a hint, and then this is the actual like connection between all the words. And I don't see how Star Cross connects all the way. It looks like these are all just associated with Romeo and Juliet. It's like, what is Trist? It's a meeting place. An agreement as between lovers to meet. Okay. Like secret lovers. Okay. Um. Kiss, love, poison, balcony. Tragedy. Star Cross. I mean, you just seem to be talking about Romeo and Juliet. I mean, that's pretty... Seems to be the case. It seems to be what it's clearly trying to say. But maybe I'm missing something. Like, I clearly don't... I don't know what Star Cross means. And I, it's been so long since I've read Romeo and Juliet. Um, I don't really remember it. Like, I don't remember the characters in it. Or the majority of the plot. Um, then, yeah. Trist was tough. <laughs> that was a tough word to get. Um, anyway, I had fun today. Did well on these. Uh, Strands was the toughest, for sure. Um, but it was great. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys all did well on these today. Leave a comment. Let me know how you did on any of the games. Um, yeah, maybe tell me some of the things I didn't know, like... Emerson from the mini or I don't know some of the other things maybe help me out with the strands thing but um, Yeah, if you guys want to support the channel like the video comment subscribe donate all of that stuff It really does uh, help a lot and I just want to say thank you guys and I will see you guys tomorrow for another video So have a good one. Hope you guys are feeling good and I'll see you tomorrow